Why should the Ottawa Fury join the Canadian Premier League in 2020? Well, I'm going to tell you exactly why right here in this video, so stay tuned. Hey guys, if you're new to my channel, I'm Curtis, and this is my channel, AFC Curtis, your home for all things Canadian Premier League content right here on YouTube, so make sure you consider hitting that red subscribe button. So with the Ottawa Fury vetoing a move to the Canadian Premier League for the 2019 season, this video is going to be all about disproving those uh, reasons and even rumors of reasons why they didn't come to the Canadian Premier League in 2019, and showing you guys that the Canadian Premier League this year has grown so much that they're ready for the Ottawa Fury and to prove the Ottawa Fury possibly ownership, fans, coaches players all wrong and that they are ready and they can compete and have be a financial landing pad for the Ottawa Fury for the 2020 season so let's get things started TV deal so a TV deal looks a little bit better for the Canadian Premier League versus the, uh, the Ottawa Fury and the USL League down there. Uh, right now, Ottawa Fury currently show their games on YouTube as well as on the USL websites, and sometimes they're on ESPN Plus, which is ESPN's version of their streaming service there, versus the Canadian Premier League, which all the clubs get their matches on uh, you know the One Soccer streaming service, the website there, as well as the CBC Gem program, which is a streaming service for CBC, and uh, there's also a minimum of 20 games a year that are going to be shown on the CBC TV channel which is already just a huge exposure enough just to have your team on CBC at least once a year every club has made it on there I think maybe even twice a year uh, on the CBC TV channels uh, as they show them live the games so I think this would be huge opportunity for the Ottawa Fury because not a whole lot of people I think really outside of the city of Ottawa maybe even know about the Ottawa Fury uh, I'm talking here about the casual fan that is and so having you know Ottawa Fury in the Canadian Premier League that gets them on to CBC and it kind of grows your brand nationally across the country which would be great for them and maybe even locally as well and I mean how more attractive will they look to bigger brands and bigger companies and bigger partners out there if you know you go oh yeah okay well our games aren't gonna be on just on YouTube now they're actually gonna be on one soccer as well as you can also see the branding on CBC which is a nationally broadcasted um, channel across the country of Canada so I mean it's instantly better than showing your games just on ESPN plus maybe and YouTube as well as the USL website. So, I mean, the TV deal right now is looking a lot better in the Canadian side of things than for the USL's Ottawa Fury. Big partnerships. Now, if the Ottawa Fury end up joining the Canadian Premier League, I mean, yes, they already have some nice little brands with them already attached to them, like Subaru, Budweiser, and Tell. It's just to name some of the bigger brands attached to them. But I mean, coming to the Canadian Premier League, you're already going to be linked up with some A-list brands out there. There's Macron, Nike, New Era, which is huge, um, pretty cool too. Uh, Volkswagen in Canada is also pretty big. Uh, of course, there's also Ticketmaster, WestJet out there, Tim Hortons. I mean, who doesn't love Tim Hortons? So, I mean, these are all big list brands as well as a bunch of other brands that are already here and already established in the Canadian Premier League and also brands too are going to look at especially Canadian brands are going to look at the Canadian Premier League and instantly want to partner with clubs on there and I'm sure and I guarantee this actually in the next couple of years just as the league grows and expands you're going to see a lot of other big brands out there especially Canadian brands jumping on board I mean can you only imagine having a club like maybe York Nye running around with a big old upside down triangle from Canadian Tire on their chest I mean that's going to be I know it might look a little weird if you think of it kind of looks a little bit weird to be honest with you in my head as I picture it but I mean that'd be great branding and a great great financials too for the league and its clubs competition level now the competition level is not as low as I think Ottawa Fury may expect it to be. I think they're kind of the Canadian Premier League's kind of been on par with the USL, at least the mid-table clubs of the, of the USL, which is kind of where Ottawa Fury currently sit as of the recording of this video in fall 2019. So I mean, with that, I think the Ottawa Fury plus I mean, too. Side note, too, you look at the summertime, look at the Canadian Championship. I think Halifax, you know, really pushed them really well. And, and if you look at where Halifax is right now, I mean, for most of the last half of the season, they've been sitting in last place in the Canadian Premier. League. So, I mean, if the last place team in the Canadian Premier League can play pretty well against Ottawa for two legs, I mean, Ottawa should be in a decent little fight, if you think about it, for a Canadian Premier League championship if they came over here. I mean, add them in the mix with Forge FC, Calvary FC, and, you know, an up-and-coming other clubs that will get better for next season. I mean, you've got a more competitive league in general, and all of a sudden, you know, the, the level of play will rise. So I think the Ottawa Fury moving will be good for themselves, their, their players, and their club, but also for the clubs around them in the league, because they'll all get better because of this new, improving team coming into the league that will push, obviously, um, for at least a top three spot 
in the Canadian Premier League. So I mean, you got to think about that. You also look at the other, you know, clubs in the Canadian Premier League. You got a, you know, a kind of like a mid-table club, if you will, in York Nine FC, who pushed real well against Montreal Impact and almost, quite almostly, beat them in that first leg there. Um, and then of course you got Cavalry FC, who went pretty far as well themselves, all the way to the semifinals uh, before just losing out to Montreal Impact, who went on to win the Canadian Championship. So I mean, there, there's competitive clubs in the Canadian Premier League that are just as good as the Ottawa Fury right now. So I think Ottawa. Fury coming over that'll be better for them and everybody else competition wise it's a Canadian league it just feels weird doesn't it seeing the capital of Canada the city of Ottawa play in the second division of a US league a soccer league down there I mean just to me it just mentally I don't know it just feels weird to see and I just think that they deserve better I think the fans deserve better and I think a move to the Canadian Premier League is better I think I really do but I think moving from a second division USL league to a top division in Canada I think the playing level right now in terms of competition in terms of talent on the field is pretty on par and pretty equal right now and I think if you like, like I said with the last few clips so the competition level will be the same and it will probably raise um, when when the Ottawa Fury do make the move I'm gonna say a win not if because I'm gonna keep this thing positive here but I think on top of all that you know they got bigger brands I think they could catch by coming to a division one league in Canada versus a division two league in the US you know and of course a TV deal is huge you know being on CBC if Ottawa Fury come of course they're gonna be on CBC probably more often than most of other clubs because of their you know just their history they've been around longer than quite a few of the other clubs so it just makes better sense for the Canadian Premier League to get Ottawa Fury and better sense for Ottawa Fury to come to the home to Canada and to the Canadian Premier League. Well guys, that was my video this week. Let me know down in the comment section below. What do you think? Should the Ottawa Fury join the Canadian Premier League in 2020 or should they stay in the USL? Let me know down below in the comments. And of course, if you like this video, definitely hit that thumbs up button. That like button shows me like content just like this. And if you want to see more content just like this about the Canadian Premier League, definitely consider hitting that red subscribe button and a little bell notification notification button so you can get notified each and every week I drop a brand new episode just like this one and of course you can also watch my content over at two places there's two great places out there there's first of all the northern starting 11.com uh, which I'll have a website for that, that website link down in the description below uh, you're gonna want to check that out now because there's a bunch of great soccer related podcasts vidcasts articles all there on this website and these guys are doing a volunteer by the way so definitely help them out you can donate down there as well on their website these guys are hard working day and night for you people I mean it's fantastic stuff out there so definitely check it out it will satisfy your need uh, for all things Canadian soccer I promise you that so definitely check that out and of course another place you can find me out is uh, over at the Fop Mob app there as well you can get that on your Apple App Store as well as Google Play for uh, if you have an Android phone out there so definitely check out that app it's a great app for all things Canadian you know not even Canadian soccer but also just soccer related they got every league in the world you can think of over there so you can scoreboard watch all day and all night so definitely check them out and thanks to you guys so much for watching.